Welcome back, guys, to Akami, where with many, many things barring our passage at the moment, we come to Blockhead here, who supposedly has some weak points. Now, we're kind of wondering what they are, but there are a fair amount of cracks, so we're gonna start testing some theories. What about a cut along the crack, sir? Not so good. What about a bomb, sir? Oh, what about an actual bomb, sir? <laughs> well, it appeared behind him. Maybe that's the secret to success. Maybe not so much. Where's your weak point, sir? It seems they showed up when we hit him. You've got literal weak points. <laughs> hey, that tickles! Now you shall feel my wrath, because if it's stone, what about sprouting something inside it to pry it apart? Okay, well, I'm feeling your wrath, obviously. I'm just wondering if over time here, I'm gonna get something. Two different weak points this time. Huh? Yes, we're working. Are my weak points so obvious? I failed, but let it be known I died a warrior's death. Who'd have thought that would work? I only slammed him as a last resort. I was so confused by what was going on, or more to the point, what wasn't happening. And it seems everything is solved here. And something has been gained. Okay, is this a way to unlock the path? What's in here, first and foremost? That's another thing I'm wondering about. Have we managed to make it all the way round and get out the other side? Looks like it to me. With that in mind, if I put that down, it'll despawn after a little bit of time. Let's just test the theory. Yes, it will. And return back to its point. That's fine by me, because I'm wondering what this is. Oh, yeah. First of all, we make the jump. That jump was further away than I honestly thought it was. You go over there. We're fine with that. Can we make a lily pad? Oh, no, no. no. Lily pad disappeared. Not good. Um, the other solution... It's to come up with speed. And it seems whenever it disappears, it returns to my mouth anyway. We'll take another exorcism slip S. Paper depicting holy incantations. Like damages nearby enemies, you say? Well, we have to make it over yet again. So is that really the start again? Let's try to work this out. Where exactly are we? Well, I'm not sure myself. We could bring up the map. Maybe that'll tell us a little bit more. I think it is indeed where we started. We headed out way onto the right. And we've done a whole circle. So let's make it over yet again. With a little bit of a dash. And while I did think I saw something to dig up there and another green clover, we'll have to get it on the way out as far as I'm concerned. Still want to check the path back. I thought I was going to be going back, but no, we went the right way straight off. Can't hate that. Okay, go up higher. Okay, I have to press X a little bit sooner to be able to give myself the push I need. Apart from that, we got a little bit of a balancing act to get up high. Because if I miss, it's not so good. Not so good at all. Go up nice and slow. Taking this key, obviously, up to the demon lock. It looks kind of like a heart. Hello, sir. I'm pretty sure you don't like this thing. Especially if it's jammed severely in your eye. That usually works for defeating things. Brilliant. Jam things in their eyes. Lovely. Any more of those weird little... Oh, oh, we got some enemies in front of us, that's for sure. What enemies are you? Just the standard again? I'm gonna make a tree in you. Oh, it didn't, it didn't work. Did you get defeated, sir? No. Still clinging on to life. We want your demon fang, after all. Yours is a major thing to get. We watch you at all times when we're beating you up. We want all the demon fangs. What are you doing, sir? 
getting out of range for us is not very nice. What did you do? I will shoot as much as I wanted to. Grab myself the Demon Fang. Thank you, sir, but that was a bit of a weird random battle. That's for sure. We weren't good for damage. We did take a few hits of enemies I don't think we've actually been hit by before. Get that final jar open. Hoping for some more fruit, really. Hopefully we can fill up this pouch very soon. In the meantime, we'll take an Exorcism Slip S. Getting a lot of these items here. And we obtained a Spirit Globe M. Humanity's faith made solid restores one unit of solar energy. My thank you for the health back. Well, we're heading on through to see what we can find. We got three demon fangs from that one battle as well. Brilliant. Wow, this bridge is a complete wreck. I'm guessing we're building it back. But for you, it's a piece of cake to take care of this, isn't it? I guess. Do, 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 Okay, not so much rebuilt as anything else. Maybe I wasn't such solid enough with my strokes, eh? Maybe I had too many gaps. Do it enough, and we can finally get across. Anything else to check out around here, though? Well, there's blowing leaves, but I'm not sure if we can do anything with those. A lovely mirror. And some stuff up and behind everything. Now what's this way? This passageway looks a bit secret, but doesn't seem to contain much in the- Oh, no, we got ourselves at least a clover. Not sure about any secret hidden- Get ourselves some praise, but not sure about any, like, secret treasure chest hiding around. That's what I'm really looking for. Nope, I can't see any little tiny spot in the ground or anything like that. Or a way to get over there. That's what I'm wondering. What to do with these at the moment? Are we going to find ourselves a new power? I hope I'm on the right track. In the meantime, we'll have some oranges from you. 182 food. And a cursed shrine? More than one. More than two! Alright, so a lot of enemies we're going to have to be fighting through here. What else is around the area, though? That's always the thing I wonder. No secret treasure chest hidden up on high? Doesn't look like it. Well, let's go start taking these guys out. Find out what we'll be facing. Take out the ones that we can take out first and foremost, eh? The other guy gets up in the air and starts firing stuff at us. That's when we really are interested. He definitely is throwing stuff at us now bit by bit. Another one defeated, another demon fang. Here they come. Knock you out of the sky. Loom you a little bit. Get to work on beating you up. We will defeat you, no problem. Though, have we got the camera angle we need here? Uh oh. Oh, missed our chance. Not so good, we are way too near. A spirit Grow Bell will take that. Restores three units of solar energy. Brilliant. Lots of health, in fact. In case we needed it. Picking up a fair bit of yen. We bloom two things at once if we go like that. Brilliant. Lots of people have been saying that I can bloom more trees than once if I line them up properly. It's more the fact that lining them up would take time as well. Holy bone S. We've got all these items ready just in case we do get low HP, but we're fine at the moment. Add the yen. We'll take on our second shrine. If I can get in.
And all the demon fangs will be ours. Our drummer's over here, though. Boy, I dodged that nice and lushly, but not so much. So I reckon I should be able to bomb this guy out the ground or something like that. Let's try it, eh? Do, 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 do. There's a bomb on you! I don't know what happened to you there. Oh, you, you did get bombed out quite liberally. Let's see. That is our floor finisher for you. No by the looks of it, but a big health to restore. Oh well, blowing them up works well. Considering they're stationary, I should have been using bombs on them a lot sooner. There's also another comment someone said that maybe their floor finishers are in the monster book? I haven't checked just yet. And maybe they are indeed. Or maybe that person knows more than I think he does. Ho 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 ha. As we learn even more strategy for beating these guys, I'm quite happy. If we beat these guys the normal route, then we can definitely pick up demon fangs, can't we? Are you defeated as well or something? You are? I don't remember hitting you. Must have been getting some wide shots on them out there. You're gonna get me? No, you missed. Uh, as long as I jump again. Okay, I reckon you might be explosive. For a demon fang? No, I think he actually managed to get an explosion off on me there. Not fully defeated after all. And that's not gonna work for him. There's those weaknesses in the wall that they mentioned for us to escape. But all the shrines are defeated. I was wondering if they'd latch onto the bomb instead of me. Not so much it seems, eh? Not so much. We've nearly gained ourselves enough praise here to be able to some jars to smash. Now where's this hole in the roof? Because we know exactly what we're doing here. Nearly enough praise to up my HP a little bit, maybe? But sprout me some mushrooms first and foremost, the fastly growing mushrooms that they are. So we can scale this poison waterfall. And maybe, by the look of it, stop the source. But in the meantime, jars, jars, jars. Any goodness in the jars. Fruit would be lovely. I'm wondering when we're going to max out this thing. Because it can revive us from KO, and that would be handy. Any secret hidden treasure chests on this ledge? I guess the problem, looking for them all. I wonder if there's an item that is like a treasure sensor, that would be brilliant. I thought I saw one then, but not so much. Treasure sensor would do me quite nicely. Alright then, so are we just bashing these open? Or is there some other way to get rid properly? Speed up as fast as we can. Lots of flowers after us, after all. Huh. Huh, huh. We can examine them. I wonder if we can just simply slash them. We can, and it looks cooler as well. And open a chest with one blow as well. There was a lovely scroll there I wanted to get. With the waterfall purified, it seems we have a straight shot into wherever that is. Fair bit of praise as well. What about our scroll though, our scrolly companion? Looks like the poison that was polluting this water has completely cleared up. Now it looks like a great place for a swim. There's even a waterfall. I'd bet it'd be loads of fun to go straight down it. Ah, what I meant was a playful dog like Umi might do that. I, I haven't forgotten about what we're looking for, have you? And of course, uh, I haven't given up on hunting down some treasure either. Hunting treasure is kind of what I do. Like this treasure chest, it's kind of reformed itself. You obtain Suit and Ruins map. Map displaying the structure's details. Check via the map screen. I wonder if it actually shows treasure on top of that. 
Look at me trying to press every item here. Uh, da, 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 da. Treasure tome is not what I'm looking for. The map is, however, but it doesn't display treasure on it. In fact, are there two floors we haven't done fully? The third floor seems to be one we haven't. Interesting. Interesting indeed. What really counts as the third floor is what I'm wondering. Well, let's take some advice. Uh, can I get on that ledge over there? Not by the look of it. Straight down the waterfall, you say? Maybe that's because I was supposed to go with a little bit of current, eh? And now I've kind of lost my propulsion. Well, let's look cool while we swim. Make a lily under ourselves when things are getting tough. Maybe the current now can pull us off. Current, go! Not so much. Down we go, that's for sure. Ah! Woolly, quick! Nearly got a bit worrying then, didn't it? I was just seconds off of drowning. And having to start all the way from the other side. Right, let's get ourselves this. Now fighting you tree. Oh no, you did see me and fight me, which is brilliant. Now I can bloom you. Bloom, sir, bloom. We'll take this lovely fruit. We'll build ourselves a lily pad. Make it nice up on high. Oh, lovely praise. Now that we're nicely sorted out, let's finally check out what's along this way, eh? If I can make the jumps. I'm not the fastest of guys right now, I've lost my speed. For the most part. But let's go through. Find out what's in here, if anything at all. There are many bits of cursed land, that's for sure. Do 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 do. Rejuvenate already! We give you double weird circle, rather than just one. Kind of mutilate my circles a fair bit, but oh well. What can you do? You can do a lot, but... La 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 la. Nope, didn't even do a thing there. Let's rejuvenate this one. And if I had to be a betting man... We rejuvenate them all, I think something might be happening. Not just all the lovely bountiful praise we're receiving. Not enough, not enough. A little bit more, do eh? So whatever that is has sprouted. Could there be a constellation in the sky? Hey look that light! There's a constellation here too? Too? Question inquisitive? It was to be expected. Let us fill in the stars. Gain a new power, eh? Could I guess who it might be? A familiar ape? Cheerio of Brothers Complete? And now they've got their pose going on. Now he seems to have thrown something very in the distance. And I like these guys. They don't mind how they mess up. Ha! Amatelasu! Origin of all that is good and mother to us all! Hi, Sutagami, the last in the triumvirate of Hanagami Flora Gods, have humbly awaited your glorious return for a hundred years. May the fresh spring growth bloom from your snow white form. Bring new life to the land that suffers under evil. 
You will do, madame, sir, whatever gender you are. New plows? Pa powers and flowers? We'll mix them up to plowers. We can do anything. That was Sutagami, the third and final god of Flora. He's the god that can make vines do his bidding with his plowers. One folktale tells how Sutagami used that power to tie vines to his body so that he could fly through the air. Hey, that's the Konohana Blossom, the flower of the gods over there. Try making a vine sprout right out of it. We will try indeed. See, you want just upwards? So close yet so far. Draw a line from the Kono. Oh, to our body. Oh, sorry. Vine sprout out of it. Not necessarily to me. Oh, that was to me. That was to me. That was to me. Or maybe we do it in like a hook. It's to me. It's fine. Okay, that worked. Perfect. Wow, it sure is handy to have a god around. You can draw out vines when the Konohana Blossom is open. Let's look around and see if any others are blooming. Sure, there's many, many vines to go up, it seems. We're going to continue our trip upwards with our new trophy the next episode. So join me for that, and I'll see you guys around for more Okami! Bye-bye.